Kingdom Talk, let's talk about it. It's Thursday, and we are back inside the studio of WCC 99.9 FM. And, of course, this is the live broadcast of Kingdom Talk. I am your host, Augustus Washington, Jr., and uh, we are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Thank you for joining us tonight, and I uh, pray that you've had a blessed day on today. It's about uh, two minutes now past the hour of 7 p.m., and, again, you're inside the live broadcast of Kingdom Talk. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, I would say I have a special guest, but she, <laughs> she's uh, she's been kind of hanging in a little bit here lately. But uh, Minister Washington Washington is here tonight. Uh, why don't you greet the Kingdom Talk listening audience? Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Excited to be here tonight. Excited about what we're going to talk about and just. Really looking forward to the conversation and the direction that we're going to receive from the Lord on tonight. Praise the Lord. Well, listen, uh, you know what I need you to do? Get on the phone, call a neighbor, and tell a friend. Kingdom Talk is on the air, and I uh, uh, want you to uh, chime in on Facebook and let us know that you are tuned in and listening. Also, uh, for those of you that um, uh, are on Facebook, uh, we may even... Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going on Facebook Live in uh, just a moment and uh, want you to uh, join us uh, right on Facebook um, right now, as a matter of fact. And um, so uh, if you if you know anything about Facebook Live, we are on live right now uh, in the studio of WCC 99.9. So go to Facebook. Let me know that you're tuned in. We are live on Facebook uh, a video and um, we're live on Ustream so you need to go and uh, again check us out on Facebook alright live in the studio so um, do that for us and if you know someone outside of the listening area of WCC 99.9 by all means uh, need to go and uh, send them to the world wide web at cwchrist.com cwchrist.com and um once they get to the home page, they can tune in um, by going to the the side uh, to the right of the home page and hit the red tab that says "Listen Live," and they'll be able to join us uh, with their iPhone, smartphone, tablet, uh, desktop, laptop. If it's an internet connection, you have us. All right, so do that for us. We are live right now again in the studio, and. Uh, and so um, thank you for joining us. I also want to say a great big God bless you to Ellen Miles. She's tuned in. And uh, also Jermaine Watkins is tuned in live on uh, Facebook. We are streaming right now. And also uh, Sister Tanya is on. She's joined us. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Sister Miles is all the way uh, from uh, Washington. She's joining us. So uh, praise God for her and bless you for uh, tuning in on tonight all right so we're going to get into a couple of things tonight and uh, we're going to pray and we're going to believe god um, and for those of you that are listening by way of facebook um, let me know if you can hear us okay uh, and uh, we'll appreciate that very very much we're going to get into some things as it relates to the word of god and um, being able to see clearer the things of god uh, as it relates to where we're going um, and, uh, you know, all of those different things. God bless you, uh, um, Sister Palmer. Uh, appreciate you. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. All right, you can hear us real good. All right, super. All right. All right, somebody say the volume is a little bit low. All right, we're going to see if we can work that out. Um, so, uh, again, we're live in the studio. Uh, God bless you, Jermaine Watkins. Tune in. Um, and uh, we're going to pray, uh, Minister Washington, and then uh, we'll get into some particulars. Those that are going to be following us on uh, with your Bibles, we're going to start in, um, what did I say we're going to start at? 2 Corinthians Second Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse uh, number 7. So invite someone to come on and uh, tune in. Again, you're listening to the live broadcast of Kingdom Talk. Uh, and I am your host, Augustus Washington, Jr. And if you're joining us by way of Facebook, uh, you also tune in live with us right here in the studio of WCC. So Minister Washington is going to pray, and then we'll get into our uh, uh, lesson for tonight. 
Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We ask you, Lord, to divinely uh, guide and direct us during this broadcast. We pray, God, that no damage would be done to your word, but only edification, exaltation, and comfort. In the wonderful, precious name of Jesus, we thank you now for sending your ministering angels to various locations and allowing people to feel led to tune in to this broadcast that deliverance might come in your great name. We pray, amen. Amen. All right, well, uh, again, we want to get into some things tonight uh, that uh, I believe is going to be very, very important to um, to where we are going and the things that we need to see uh, in our lives uh, uh, here in the body of uh, Messiah Jesus. Also, um, want to uh, deal with some things as it relates to uh, how to see God in this hour, how to see God in this hour, and how to uh, open up our eyes that we may be enlightened to some things uh, so that uh, the Lord can get the glory uh, out of uh, our lives and the things that we are uh, experiencing uh, in this hour. So, um, I want to go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and we're going to start. We're going to start in verse number 3. And uh, once I figure out where I want to set this so you, everybody can hear what I'm saying uh, really, really good, and then we'll move on. I'm going to let you, Minister Washington, um, uh, read that scripture for us, and then we'll get into some particulars tonight. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Amen. So tonight, as um, you forestated, we're going to be discussing enlightenment uh, um, as it pertains to to the word of God and the gospel. And we understand that the word enlightenment just means the dispelling of darkness, of the uh, dispelling the darkness of ignorance. Um, and that's what the Lord come to do. Now, ignorant means, you know, that we don't know. So, so the Lord has come to enlighten us in those areas where there is darkness. He has come to bring light in our lives in those areas. Um, enlightenment, um, may be either the intuitive grasping of inner wisdom, illumination by the truth of the word, or um, the direct apprehension of transcendent reality. So, so enlightenment is, is the intuitive grasping of inner wisdom that comes from the Holy Ghost, where it gives us a uh, uh, a knowing that we otherwise would not be privy to. So when the Lord comes with the word of God, he's coming to shine light on areas where there's darkness. These are areas where we, we previously uh, were blinded and we thought, you know, whatever the situation was or the action was, we thought it was okay. So when the gospel comes, it, it comes to us because we are lost Amen. in an area or in some areas or lost completely. <laughs> and he comes to bring illumination to us. And, and we got to understand that, that that's one of the groundworks of, of all of the operations of the Holy Ghost is to, it's, it's to come and bring enlightenment because we can't even be saved without being enlightened. We got to we got to first understand that we are lost. And then he begins to, to show us, he begins to um, illuminate or, or shine the light on those areas that are dark. And, he, and then conviction comes. The conviction of the conscience comes when enlightenment comes. Because, you know, otherwise we're okay with it. And even though we may know it's wrong, the degree to which it bothers us Yes. It may not be the degree that will cause us to want to change. Absolutely. So, so this enlightenment uh, that the gospel brings is a great thing because 
he, he what he does is he changes us and then other people see the change in us yes and that and we become light yes absolutely and i wanted to talk about this tonight because um again the scripture says uh if our gospel be hid it is hid to them uh that are lost uh, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. And I wanted to deal with it from this perspective as it relates to enlightening us or the word and enlightening us as believers. Because I believe the things that we are seeing now uh, are, are, are indicative of the enemy wanting to blind us or cause us to be paralyzed uh, by the various things that go on uh, uh, that are going on, um, you know, in our world today as it relates to um, as it relates to, uh, you know, television, as it relates to things that are, you know, causing us to, to, to miss it. And when the scripture talks about, um, you know, in, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, Many times I think we think that Satan is the God of this world. But when you really think about it, the, the scripture is not necessarily or particularly saying that he is. But it's really talking about in the case of those that are of the world, Satan is their God. Yes. You see what I mean? Because the Bible really says that he is the prince of the power of the air. Yes. So, so that's one of the things that we have to understand and know that. Uh, when God is uh, when the word of God is speaking that the enemy is constantly wanting to blind us to um, the, the the truths um, of the word of God to, to keep us off focus. And so if he can keep us off focus, um, then he can cause us to miss the blessing that we really need to to, to have in our lives. And I say that because. A lot of the things that we're seeing now, I believe, really is a distraction. Right. They 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 really are a distraction, and so um, and 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 if we can get to the place where um, the Lord can do what He want to do in our lives in such a way that we can we know when the distractions uh, are happening and know when. Uh, and know how to maneuver around them, then I believe we'll be in a much better place and we'll be in position uh, to not allow the enemy to continue to just do uh, what he want to do in our lives and uh, be in a place where, where the Lord will uh, use us greatly and cause things to, to uh, function in our lives as it relates to the power of God. Right. You know, um, enlightenment is very important it, it it's just the beginning of a whole new life in christ is is what it opens up to and we can even say this and it would be true and, and the point of the matter is this even it doesn't matter how long you've been in god i think that the the closer we get to him and the more we get to know him the more he enlightens us in areas uh i think that we are always uh, coming into a better place as long as we're in a good place with him um, and that's one of the things you know that that God wants us as believers to really uh, shine forth his glory and the only way we can do that is is to be enlightened in his word and when we're enlightened in his word then we go about and and we live a life that is complimentary of the word of God and this is one of the things you know that the Lord want us to do because when illumination come believe it or not we have there, there, there's like a quantum leap in our thinking I mean when when I when I think about the word um, um, quantum I think about a, a quantity I mean like God just takes us to a new level and it's like a huge leap in our thinking. We don't see things the same way. We don't do things the same way. We, we just become different. We are exactly uh, what the scripture says. We are new creations. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things are new. But, but it's because of the illumination or the enlightenment of the word of God 
that we get this what I call a quantum leap in our thinking because before when we you know we thought it was everything was was okay or even just in areas where there was just darkness we we didn't know and then all of a sudden God just shines the light in this area and we're able to progress in an area where like for years we kind of struggled in an area but when his enlightenment come, when the gospel comes, yes, when when he brings about uh, the removal of, of of blindness from us, then we begin to see clearly what it is that we should do, and we operate in a in a great wisdom, and we begin to make progress, yes, exponentially. Absolutely, and you know that's that's great, a great point that you bring out because. When we think about the word of God, as you were talking about, um, I want to go back to, um, I just lost my, I want you to read that uh, in Second um, Corinthians 4 again there, because I want to go back to, to that. Uh, yes, it says uh, in verse number four, those that are following along with us, and for those of you that are listening, um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to, everybody that's tuning in on uh, Facebook to see us. And I pray you can still hear us okay as well. That's what's, that's what's going on here right now. But I think it's okay now. Um, and so I appreciate you joining us tonight. But uh, 2 Corinthians 4, uh, 4 and uh, verse number 5. I want to go down to, well, I'll just read the whole thing again. It says, In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Messiah, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. It says in verse number six, For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Messiah. Now, what's that? What that's saying to me is, Minister Washington, is and, and Kingdom Talk listeners, is the fact that when we see in Genesis chapter one, where it says, uh, "And the Lord said, uh, light be," uh, many times we think that that the scripture is saying that the sunlight, but really this is the glory that's uh, that shone forth when God uh, saw the chaos. He brought about cosmos with the glory of God, and so what we're talking about tonight is the fact that those of you that are listening to us uh, on radio and by Facebook and and uh, online, that whatever situation that you're dealing with, the, it is the glory of God that shines in our life through the word of God, the preach word of God, and the anointing that causes us to actually bring, uh, to bring uh, uh, order or cosmos into our confusion. The confusion that you are, are are dealing with right now, you don't have to deal with it if we would bring the glory in. Amen. And that's what we're talking about tonight. And this is what the scripture is talking about tonight. Uh, it is the glory of God that 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 He brings into our lives to cause us to be able to um, to 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 experience the peace of God, the glory of God, and all of the things that come along with that. Uh, because he have commanded the light or the glory to shine out of darkness. We were in darkness. We were messed up. We were, we were confused. Uh, but it is the word of God, beloved saints of God, that's going to cause us to be able to know and to see the things that we need to see uh, and, and change the things that we need to change in our lives. Amen. It is the glory of God because when the glory, when you think about it, when the glory comes upon you, it gives you the ability to do what you couldn't do before. Amen. And that's one of the things that we need as believers. We need to begin to pray that the glory of the Lord will rest upon the body of Christ again. Yes. Because when the glory comes, revelation and enlightenment and illumination, uh, all of that comes with the glory. Yes. He, he brings about an understanding that previously was not there that gets us and moves us from one place in a situation to another place. Amen. It's about 21 minutes now past the hour of 7 p.m. You're inside the live broadcast of Kingdom Talk. I want to say a great big God bless you. Go to social media real quick and say a great big God bless you to Mike Jones tuned in and listening. Also, Patricia uh, Dublin is tuned in and listening. 
uh, Bernice Jenkins uh, joined in and tuned in. Listen, thank you for tuning in. Uh, also, Ellen Miles is tuned in. Uh, Bill Turner, my good friend, my brother from another mother in Georgia today, uh, is tuned in and listening. Also, Dana uh, Turner is tuned in and listening. Uh, Ronnie Laborde is tuned in and listen. Thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Uh, thank God for all of you that are tuning in. If you have a question or a comment, uh, you can comment on, on uh, Facebook. We are live on Facebook. Also, if you want to go to the Kingdom Talk page, you can also put your comment or question there. If you want to remain anonymous, go to the Kingdom Talk page and go to the inbox. And inbox is there and we will... Uh, We'll get your question or, or your comment. Now, 30 minutes past the hour, we're going to open up the phone lines and have some dialogue with our listening audience in the community. Uh, you can call in and your numbers of access will be 803-335-3131. And uh, we'll love you to life for it. Uh, God bless you, uh, Mike. Uh, good to uh, see you join in tonight. Um, and, and so I want to I want to speak to some people out there tonight um as well as uh minister washington because we want to encourage some people tonight that there are some things that you're dealing with and we're not just talking about church goers now right. but we're talking about those uh that name the name of the lord lord those that are are are, are tuned in with messiah jesus and understand that it is a relationship that we have to have in order for us to be able to uh, to to get those things that we need to get from the Lord. That's what we're talking about. Absolutely. It, it is a relationship, you know. It's kind of like, um, you know, we don't want to just um, approach God just to get what he has, but we really want to be in a relationship with him. And, and this relationship is going to produce peace. It's going to produce wisdom, revelation, knowledge, for every situation in your life. Absolutely. In fact, he told us if we would it just but acknowledge him in all of our ways, yes. he would direct our path. Look at the mistakes that we would not make if we would just take the time to acknowledge God and to wait and rely upon him for an, a concise answer for our life. Yes. You know, I always say that I want to be in the center of God's will. Yes. And I think that we should all want to be in the center of God's will. Absolutely. Doesn't mean that we're not going to have trials and tribulations, but what it does mean is that when they do come, um, that we will have a, there will be a way of escape. Absolutely. And, and go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish. And that way of escape uh, comes through the knowledge of Jesus Christ and what he would have us to do in that particular area of our life. Yes. And, you know, it is so important because the things that we're dealing with now, the things that are, are, are upon us as it relates to where we are. Uh, listen, beloved, there's there's racial tension. The devil has racial tension going on. He has economic tension going on. Uh, he has uh, denominational uh, divides and tension going on around us. And how many know those of you that are listening uh, again by way of Facebook and and and, and 99.9 FM and, and Internet? You got to understand these are the tactics of the enemy, and he want to do everything he can to divide us to get us to that place where we where we're not operating together and operating in a place where God can really do what he want to do in our lives. Uh, because again, it's not just going to church that's uh, going to cause us to be saved. It's not just a church attendance, but it is that glory that we're talking about here uh, in, uh, uh, in, in, in Second Corinthians chapter four. Uh, again, if our gospel is here, the gospel is the good news, the good news of the Lord Jesus Messiah. The good news of the Lord, that, that's what gospel means, good news. So when you when you say gospel, you have to really say the gospel of the kingdom and of Jesus. Because the good news is that um, a, a, a poor man doesn't have to be poor anymore. That's Amen. good news. Yes. The good news is that a blind man doesn't have to be blind anymore. The good news is, um, you know, uh, a person that's sick doesn't have to be sick in the kingdom. So that's what we we're talking about, the glory shining in the light. Um, uh, in our lives through Jesus, who is the Messiah. Again, Second Corinthians four, and, um, uh, and 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 verse number six. It says, "For God commanded the light to shine out of darkness, uh, have shined in our hearts." Well, that same uh, word that he's talking about uh, here is what he's talking about is referring to in Genesis. Yes, that was the light that he commanded to shine out of darkness. 
that light, when God said light be in the beginning in Genesis 1, he wasn't talking about the sunlight in the beginning. He was he was speaking glory. God want to bring uh, a order and cosmos, if you will, to your life. He, he want to bring peace into your life. That's what the glory brings. But the glory only brings that through the word of God. And it has to be the engrafted word of God. It has to be the word that we receive and the word that we hold fast to. If you're an alcoholic, you don't have to be an alcoholic. The good news of the gospel of the kingdom of, and of Jesus Messiah is the fact that you don't have to be. You can be released from it. You can be uh, delivered from it. That's what the word of God is. That's what the glory is. Yes. And that's where we are, beloved. We're in a place now where we're saying, listen, you don't have to continue in the same area. You can be delivered. You, you don't have to gloss over it. Um, we can, the word of God deals with those things, but we're going to get to, um, I believe it's Mark chapter uh, 13, is it? Uh, where we want to go to because what happens is, is many times when we see these things, uh, this dynamic happening where we're going to church and not really seeing things um, change in our lives to the umph degree that it should, uh, and um, we are we're, we're doing the churchy things but not really seeing the fullness of what we uh, feel like we need to see. It is because our ears have become deaf to the things of God uh, or heavy, and we can't really grasp what it is that we need to grasp and to get what we need to get. It's uh, about 28 minutes now past the hour of 7 p.m. You're inside the live broadcast of Kingdom Talk. Uh, I am your host, Augustus Washington, Jr., and uh, along with uh, my guest tonight, Minister Ann in Washington. She's here uh, tonight. And um, and if you're tuning in by way of Facebook, thank you for joining us tonight. I want to say a great big God bless you to James Lott. He's tuned in. Jacynthia Walton. Also, Connie Parker's tuned in. Also, Barney Livingston. That's my cousin. Um, great big God bless you to you. Also, um, uh, Kiwanda Searles, Betty Starr tuned in and listening. Appreciate you for tuning in on tonight. God bless you. Love you to life for it. Janice Washington tuned in and uh, listening tonight as well. Um, and so let's go there real quick because I want to get that scripture in because I want to kind of tie this all uh, together uh, on tonight because I believe that we are in a time where we really need to see and experience the glory of God in such a way that it causes us uh, to really understand uh, who we are and the things that we have at our uh, disposal as it relates to the word of God and um, uh, the, the power that we possess in the things of God. Let's go there real quick. What is it? Uh, Mark uh, 13, is it? Uh, where are we? want to go there real quick and because I want to I want to get that. And uh, I believe it's going to help us to get to where we need to be. If you're just tuning in, uh, let's go to, i tell you what, go to uh, Matthew 13. And uh, I believe it's 13 as well. Uh, we're dealing with um, uh, the glory of God shining into our lives, allowing us to see what we need to see as the people of God so Mark. that we can go forward in the things of God. Mark? Mark 4, 11 and 12. All right. For those and of you that are listening right now, if you're following along, you can go to Mark chapter 4, verse number 12. And he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Yes. That seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand. Absolutely. Lest at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven them. Yes. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable, and how then will... You know all parables. The sower soweth the word, mm -hmm. and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Okay, that's good. Now, the scripture says, uh, seeing they may not see and hearing they might, may not hear. And it almost sounds as if uh, it, that God is saying, uh, I'm going to give them something. Uh, but I don't want them to understand it. That's that's not what he's saying. What he's saying is there are many that if their heart is not into uh, what it is that's being said to the point that they want to um, um, extract the truths from it from with their heart, then what happens is they have made their own hearing dull. 
because of the hardness of their heart. They have not allowed God to uh, really speak to their hearts. The Bible says in Romans uh, uh, chapter uh, 10, it says, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So what he's saying is, with the heart you believe unto righteousness through the word of God that you hear. So it is with the heart. So if your heart is not even into what it is that's being brought to you or presented to you by the word of God, then what he's saying is the sin or your lifestyle has uh, has caused your heart or your ears to be heavy so that you can't even hear what it is that's actually being said or the truth that 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 is hidden within what's being said and that's why he spoke to them in parables because he was not going to speak uh plainly to them for them to just be able to get it because their hearts uh, they had allowed their hearts to become dull and um heavy towards the things of god and 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 that's what's going on uh now beloved we've got to get in a place where we don't allow our hearts to be heavy it, because when our hearts are heavy to the word of god uh then what happens is our ears become dull uh and uh our eyes we cannot see what it is uh that 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 god is saying to us we can't see the truth from it uh, Brother Bob Jones says, what scripture was that again? That's uh, what is that? Matthew 4, verses 11 through 15. Matthew 4, verses 11 uh, through 15. Matthew 4, verses 11 through 15. It's now uh, about 34 minutes now Sorry, past the Mark hour. 4. Mark 4. Mark chapter 4. Okay, excuse me for that. It's Mark chapter 4. Uh, what's the verses again? 11 through 15. 11 through 15. So listen, it's uh, 34 minutes now past the hour of 7 p.m., Going to open up the phone lines right now for you to call in. You can call in to Kingdom Talk, and uh, we'll be live. We're live right now. You can call in. Your numbers of access are 803-335-3131. If you want to chime in on the discussion tonight, you can do so. Uh, and again, your numbers of access are 803-335-3131. Again, 803-335-3131. 31 31 you can call in right now and we'll bring you live in on the broadcast or if you just have a question and uh, you want to chime in on facebook on the live feed here uh, by all means uh, send your question or your comment we'll get that question and that comment and uh, we'll uh, entertain that if we can't answer the question we'll get back with you want to say great big god bless you to uh minister jeremy grimes tuned in also uh sydney mims tuned in and listening thank god for you uh, thank you for tuning in right now. So again, we'll receive those phone calls for those that want to call in again, 803-335-3131. Let me know if uh, everything's coming in clear for you on the live feed on uh, uh, Facebook. Let me know if you can hear us good and see us. Okay. All right, let's continue. Amen. Just based on what you were saying earlier, I think that we have to not have preconceived ideas about what the word says or what we think the word of god says uh, we have to come with an open heart and and be ready for whatever guidance that the the holy ghost gives to us or that the word of god gives to us we have to be uh, ready um to uh, lay aside um our ideas and our thoughts yes. And fully embrace the word of God because it is the word of God that brings healing to our situations Amen. when we apply it correctly. But if we don't apply the correct anecdote, then we don't get, you know, the proper um, healing that we need. Yes. So it's very important that we not take on our own um, ideas about what we think the word of God says. And even sometimes. You know, I've been in church almost 20 years, but there are times now that I'll just stop and say, you know, this is what people have said this meant. But let me get try and get an understanding and pray about it and read it, you know, again for myself instead of, of, of quote. Because, you know, we've for years we said the Bible says in business be men. Well, when you actually search it out, it doesn't say that. It's nowhere in the Bible. Now, it's good advice that, you know, we should be men in business and, and operate in integrity and all of those good things, you know, but the Bible doesn't actually say that in and of itself. So I'm, I'm just using that as an example. 
how we need to um, study out the Word of God for ourselves, read it for ourselves, and get a great understanding of what the Word of God is saying uh, to us and for us. And then I found this. Uh, when preachers are preaching, it, it could be a scripture that I've heard preached from many, many times. Uh, but then if as I sit in prayer and, and just really having a heart that really wants to receive from God, it's like he opens up a new facet of that word up to me. Yes. Amen. Let me get that number again. The number uh, your numbers of access to the broadcast right now is 803-335-3131. 803 Three three five thirty one thirty one. You can call in right now and chime in on the discussion uh, here on Kingdom Talk. This is um, it's uh, March the thirty first, uh, twenty sixteen. So uh, you're listening to the live broadcast again. Uh, Sabrina, that number is eight zero three 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 five thirty one thirty one. You can call in right now and chime in uh, on the discussion on tonight, dealing with uh, uh, being enlightened uh, by the Word of God and uh, the variables that go along with that as it relates to the Word of God and being empowered. Because really, beloved, we need to be empowered uh, by the Word of God. This is our first time actually using uh, the live um, uh, chat here on Facebook. So we're going to perfect this thing uh, prayerfully by next Thursday. Uh, The Lord say the same. So... um, bear with us a little bit tonight uh we appreciate everybody for tuning in uh and also again you can go to uh facebook on our kingdom talk page if you have a question or something you want us to 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 teach on um we will definitely um we will definitely uh, uh try to entertain that and uh we appreciate you for um for all that that you that you do all right so again 803-335-3131 all right, somebody says the, the picture is a little blurry now. Okay, we'll work on that uh, momentarily. But again, you can call in 803-335-3131. We appreciate you for for doing that. You know, one of the things, I, I have a question for the Kingdom Talk listeners. Um, one of the things I would like to know uh, is, uh, is, is it okay to, is it okay to, um, to really um, watch the certain shows that we watch, the, you know, the things we like to watch. Uh, what's, what's okay to, to watch? And what do you think that will cause the glory to, um, what do you think that will cause the glory to, um, to, to not be in our lives like it should? Um, you can answer that on the live feed or you can uh, call in 803-335-3131, 803-335-3131, because I believe that God is doing some things for us and in our lives. And uh, we've got to get in a place uh, to, to, to um, get back to where we really um, can sense the presence of God and bring about such a glory in and on our lives that we will see God in a great um, and mighty way. Um, So again, the number is 803-335-3131. You can call in and chime in on the discussion tonight right here on Kingdom Talk. Kingdom Talk Live. Uh, Some saying that it's it's going in and out on them. Uh, The connection there, I don't know what's going on with that. But um, we're going to work on it. It's again, it's our if first time. If you'll if you'll go out and come back in, sometimes that helps. Amen. Amen. So so the the question was uh, concerning uh, what brings. Uh, the, I, th- I think that there are things that can contam- that can contaminate the glory uh, in our lives. It's it's, it's like any atmosphere. Uh, when you want glory, you hang around glory. Um, the Bible says if you want to be a wise, if, if you hang around wise uh, men, you'll be likened unto wise men. And uh, certainly it says that evil communication corrupts good manners. Yes. So I would have to say that anything that is evil um, tampers with the glory that we want on our lives. And we would just need to be very mindful of that. Amen. I would agree with that. 
because again, um, what the, the scripture that we read earlier in uh, in Second Corinthians, that there is a glory that God is bringing back to His people, and um, if if we're going to see that glory really in the way that that I believe God want uh, want us to see it, uh, we're really going to have to. Uh, take the blinders off if you will right uh, there there are some blinders on it and and he he's got the, the devil has got us real busy yes real busy i want you to speak to that for a moment minister watch uh, busy i was the uh, past couple of weeks working in um but in north carolina at one of our offices and uh i just shared with one of the um people that i was working with that i would be ministering uh, that Sunday at my mother's church. And, she, and when I returned the next week, she said, you know, I was thinking about you. She said, and um, I know you're a preacher. She said, and I thought about this. She said, somebody once said, busy means buried under Satan's yoke. Oh. She, said, <laughs> she said, I thought you could use that. And I thought about it. I, well, I told her immediately. I said, oh, that's say that again. Because it caught my attention immediately. Mm -hmm. Buried under Satan's yoke. That's exactly what happens when we're busy because we're doing things that don't edify yes. or, or bring about um, spiritual uh, growth, um, spiritual reconciliation. It just pulls us away from God. It doesn't pull us to God. And we're busy doing next to nothing. What are you, Absolutely. I mean, what did you really accomplish? And, um, you know, I like reading um, stories from the old patriarchs and different ones. Mm -hmm. I, I say old patriarchs, those that have come before us. Yes. And there was a, a man that was extremely wealthy. And uh, one of the things that he did, believe it or not, he didn't spend most of his day working. He spent most of his day in a closet praying. Oh, yes. And, and God would just tell him what to do. Yes. And, and that's the thing. That's what it, the Bible says. We're more than conquerors. A conqueror has to go out and take. He has yes. to literally do work. He has to do a lot of work. A conqueror, being a conqueror is work. But when you're more than a conqueror, Christ works for you. He tells you what to do. And, and it makes a tremendous difference in our life, how we pursue things. I mean, so much guesswork is cut out of it. Absolutely. When we just when we just seek His face, and that glory comes upon us and gives us that revelation and that wisdom <laughs> about what it is we're supposed to be doing, there is no guesswork involved, because when He tells you, He knows from the very beginning to the very end what is going to be. Absolutely. And because He knows from the very beginning to the very end what is going to be. All the stuff in the middle don't even matter because he has already determined that you're going to meet your destination. Yes. And so this is just good news. When, when, when you start talking about being enlightened by the spirit of God, listen, we I go back to what I said earlier. We're talking about a quantum leap in our thinking. Yes. But not only a quantum leap in our thinking, but a quantum leap in our seeing. Yes. Because this vision is not natural vision. Absolutely. This vision is natural vision that came from the one that knows all things and that created all things and that predestined us from the time we were born before we were in our mother's womb, decided that we were to come on earth and what we were to accomplish. And so we can stop some of the stuff. Uh, I call it, my mother uses this term, we can homemade burdens there are some burdens <laughs> that are homemade <laughs> burdens we make them because we made the decision and so we 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 make these burdens and then we have to uh we take them to god to get the yoke up off of us that we put upon ourselves but when we spend much time in prayer and that's why I was so excited about the movie War Room, because I think it excited a lot of people and stirred people and started moving people back to thinking about praying, which which is essential for the church to go forward. Yes. And for us to go forward. And so when we when we spend a, a tremendous amount of time in prayer, um, 
we will find that we are making better decisions for our lives because Absolutely. they are decisions that are made by God for us. Absolutely. And you know, that, that, that's so important, Minister Washington. I believe uh, that we are in a place and in a time, as you said earlier, that uh, when the glory comes in our lives, we're able to see uh, much clearer to the point that we, we can assess the situation uh, from a godly perspective, make better decisions. We were talking uh, a couple of weeks ago about the engrafted word of God. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says uh, that the engrafted word of God is able to save your soul, able to save your soul. And it's not talking about salvation. It's talking about uh, the soul of the person, the soul areas of who you are. And so what we're talking about the night uh, as relates to uh, Mark and Matthew and uh, Genesis and and Second Corinthians four. What we what we're saying in a nutshell is that we can't allow all of the the uh, extra things that's around us right now to continue to hold us uh, and keep us blinded to what the, the the real truth. Because as long as we continue to look at and focus just on Black Lives Matter, we're going to approach the uh, a situation the wrong way. Right. If we look at it, well, white lives matter too. We're going to approach it the wrong way. Right. Um, if well, if we look at where all lives matter, we're going to approach it the wrong way. We have to approach all of these things from the word of God. Now, does black lives matter? Sure they do. Does white lives matter? Sure they do. Does all lives matter? Sure they do. The question is, why are we uh, accepting the narrative from the world? We should be creating the narrative for the world Amen. And, and telling them for God so loved the world that he died. He sent Jesus to die. It's not, we know that there are injustices in the world, but it's not so much as that we focus primarily on them in the wrong perspective or from the wrong narrative. It's, it's how we approach these things. Because again, these things will blind us. Yes. And when you understand that every good and perfect gift comes from above, and if something's good going on, it's God, and every bad and evil thing <laughs> comes from the enemy, then you understand the source. And, and, and you don't look at uh, the skin, you look at the, the sin. You look at the condition uh, of the world and the condition of the people, and you approach it from that standpoint. And then you have something as an intercessor to go in your prayer room and pray about. You begin to pray on 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 the sin issue and 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 praying that God would enlighten the eyes of sinners uh understanding so that that the that they can know that this is wrong. It's not right yes. to do whatever it is that's wrong. And that's when right. you get a conscience about you then some of the things that you once participated in, uh, they will become vile to you. Yes. That's what the glory of God does. It shows you exactly what it is. Absolutely. And that's where we have to be. Again, you can chime in uh, to the live broadcast of Kingdom Talk, 803-335-3131. Uh, you can chime in right now. Still have a few more minutes. And uh, also, if you want to get on the prayer list at the end, uh, by all means, um, Hit us up and let us know that you would like to get on uh, the prayer list, and we will uh, we will pray for you at the end of the broadcast. You can uh, send that to the Kingdom Talk page. That page is up. We're monitoring it as 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 we speak right now. And uh, if you again want to remain anonymous uh, to get on the prayer list, hit us up in the inbox, and we'll get that. And we'll pray for you because we believe in God for deliverance. We believe in God for healing. We believe in God that people are going to be made whole. By the power of God, there's no power in ourselves, uh, but it is simply the power of God that he makes us whole and causes us to uh, be in a place where we can receive exactly what we uh, need to receive from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Somebody wrote on here, see you, but can't hear you. We've stopped broadcasting on Facebook, have we not? Yes, it it the signal went okay. out okay all right i just wanted to make sure yeah so um we, we're working on that we're going to work on that some more uh to to get that uh, up and going um i actually like it i like interacting with people uh during the broadcast uh but um again beloved we 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 have to um we have to understand and know that uh 
the thing that God want us to have and to experience, um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's much greater than what we are experiencing right now. There's, there's greater glory, uh, that, that he want us to experience. And, and I know that you want to experience it as well. And so, um, that's what we want to do. That's what we want to have. That's what we want to experience in our lives. And I, and, and so tonight that's really what we want to encourage you, uh, the listening audience to do is understand that, that where you are right now, it's much greater, um, as we, uh, matriculate into the, the word of God, into the glory of God. And the more word we know, uh, the more we're able to experience God Amen. because we can't separate God from his word. We're in a time and a season now where the election and all of these things are going on. Uh, and I believe, you know, that uh, Donald Trump is a distraction mm. uh, for a greater thing that the enemy is wanting to plan. Um, that's just what I the way I discern it uh, in my spirit about it. And so um, and, and I'm not saying that to try to speak. Uh, down or cast any aspersions on his character. I don't know the man personally, mm. but I'm talking uh, as a matter of fact of what I'm seeing as relates to um, the election and seeing as it relates to uh, all of the things. I have never seen an election such as what we've seen um, um, this year. Yeah, in the primaries. In the primaries. That's that's what I wanted to say. That's what I'm looking for, but I um, had a moment of brain lock. <laughs> <laughs> but uh thank you so um so that's that's where we are we're just about out of time um um so i want you to kind of start uh giving me some thoughts on some things about what we discussed tonight and we'll get ready to kind of start bringing it to a close well one thing we want to understand is that we want the glory of god to come upon us because it brings illumination it brings revelation it brings us to a place of understanding uh, what we should be doing as it relates to our purpose in life. Um, we And understanding that we were not just put here on earth to go to work and come home and to acquire things. Mm -hmm. But we have a greater purpose and that purpose is to bring other people into the kingdom of God. So that we understand that when the new heaven and the new earth come about, we won't be the only ones enjoying that new heaven and that new earth. We also want you to understand tonight that when the glory comes, there is a quantum leap in your thinking and in your ability to see as it relates to revelation, as it relates to the things that God has been trying to get to the church and to the body of Christ. We really need prayer warriors and people interceding that we will be able to come into this glory that will bring the church itself to a place where, where we are able to see things and to understand things on a different level because it's really needed in this hour because it looks like from those from the outside looking in, it looks like that the world is winning the church and not the church winning the world. Yes. And so if the church is going to win the world, the glory of God has to come back and rest upon his people Hallelujah. in such a mighty way that the world will begin to say, I want what you have and not the church say, I want what the world has. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, we we have to we have to get back to that place, and um, I believe we are going back to that place. Yes, I believe we're going back to that place. Uh, we are back on uh, Facebook Live, so if you want to tune in for the last few uh, few minutes, you can. But um, yes, we're going back to that place, and God is going to see to it that we uh, are in a place where we can really. Uh, 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 allow the glory of God to be shown in the earth, to be filled in the earth. When, when the scripture says that uh, the glory of God is going to uh, fill the earth and be shown in, in the earth, uh, he's not talking about necessarily just like a Shekinah glory, but he's talking about the people of God are going to be in such a position, operating in such a power that it's going to fill the earth. And we're going to need that to happen in this hour because of where we are. Uh, and the things that are happening. But I want to encourage those that are listening right now. If you are bound, if you are going through, uh, if it looks like that you are just constantly making wrong decisions or look like you just you can't seem to 
to, to get a steady footing under you, um, the first thing I would say is you, you have to make sure that your heart is not dull and your ear is not dull to the things of God and then begin to receive the word of God. You have to be in a place where the word of God is going forth and going forth with power uh, and uh, demonstration, power and authority. And then you have to receive that word in a spirit of meekness to cause yourself to be able to uh, get in a place where uh, God can bring transformation in your life. Once that begins to happen, then the glory of God can can shine into your life and into your situations and cause you to be able to rise above those things. And then if deliverance needs to take place in your life, by all means, definitely uh, we have to uh, be delivered from whatever situation that's going on. Uh, so just again, want to encourage you, let the glory of God shine in you. Open up your heart, open up your eyes that you can really see what it is that God is doing and wanting to do in your life. Uh, he did not mean for us to stay in a place of mediocrity, but God is intended that we have life and have that abundantly, according to um, John 10, 10 and the B clause of verse 10. So listen, we've got to exit out of here. We uh, really enjoy being with you tonight again. We're going to uh, do some more things with this uh, Facebook live. Uh, it's our first time using it tonight on the broadcast Kingdom Talk. But uh, we'll we'll work on it and perfect it uh, a little bit later. So we appreciate you. And uh, remember, um, every Thursday, the Lord Terrors will be here. So, uh, Minister Washington, if you would, pray for him uh, 30 seconds and pray for the saints. And then we'll exit out of here for tonight. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you, God, for stirring up the desire in us to want to seek after your glory. Thank you, Lord. Have your way in our lives. Have, our, have your way, God. Show us what we are to be doing. Show us how we are to be doing it. God, give us that quantum leap of faith that we need to just step out and to do the things that you have called us to do, understanding that every step of the way that you will be with us. If you yes. called us to it, you will see us through it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I also want to pray for the Jenkins family as well. We speak life over you in Jesus' name. We uh, speak healing over uh, your lives and over your bodies in Jesus' name that uh, the glory of God will begin to shine forth in your life like never before. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Believe it and receive it by faith. Amen. Amen. Listen, uh, we love you to life. Thank God for you for tuning in tonight. If the Lord tarries, we'll be back to next Thursday, same time, same station, right here on WCC 99.9 FM. Listen, we love you to life. I want you to have an awesome night. Stay dry. God bless you. Good night. You've been listening to Kingdom Talk. The views and opinions of this broadcast may or may not be the views and opinions of this radio station, staff, and or ownership. We thank you for listening to Kingdom Talk, and we appreciate all of your calls. Remember to tune in to Kingdom Talk every Thursday from 7 until 8 p.m. And remember that you are a king's kid, so always speak up, speak life, speak kingdom, Kingdom Talk. Until next Thursday, God bless you and good night.